What's up, Facebook? Good evening. It's your boy, Victor L. Carrington, when just when you thought you knew me. So yesterday, when I did the video, uh, great responses from everyone, so I appreciate everybody's response, but um, I got a couple of questions in my inbox, and people didn't want to comment on the video because they didn't want to create an opportunity for people to say something to them. So uh, one of the questions, and I told them, I said, okay, I'll answer your questions, and I'll answer it live, as I did that, because I would have answered it live had you commented on there. One of the questions were, what do I think, since I seem to have an opinion about um, this Black Lives Matter movement, the uh, racist cop or the uh, vigilante cops killing African Americans, what did I think it would take? I actually posted it on um, one of the views videos from the clips from the view today, and I think what it is going to take, I think the way that we start, naturally it starts at home. However, uh, some things are, hey Brandy, what's up babe? Uh, some things are, need to go beyond that, and I, and this is going to really piss some people off. I'm just going to give you <laughs> disclaimer. When I say this, it's going to piss some people off. The most effective thing, I think, what it's going to take is police officers are going to have to be held accountable. That means we're going to have to have some arrests and some convictions. And I feel like once people, once the other police see that police are getting in trouble and they're getting fired and they're getting arrested and they're going to jail for killing people, that's going to minimize that a whole lot. Because as I have experienced in my life with my troubles, the more you get away with, the more you think you can get away with. So right now we have a whole bunch of uh, police out there, black and white, who feel like they can get away with whatever because they are going to have the support of their superiors. And the backstory of that is people are not getting in trouble. Now, I just posted a video the other day about the African-American police. I think they say he was a rookie and he had beat that woman, the white woman, um, she was in handcuffs and he literally beat her senseless in front of other officers and they just watched. Now he got fired and rightfully so. I don't justify what he did. I'm not saying that he was right because he was dead wrong. However, he was fired and charged with assault. Why can't we get the same thing with the Caucasian officers that are doing this and beyond by killing people? Why can't they be terminated and fired instead of suspended, sent on vacation, pretty much, to kick back until a review board decides, oh, well, you can come back to work. You were within your rights to do what you did. That's not fair and it's not cool. So the, to answer uh, this guy's question, until these officers are held accountable for their behavior and they are either terminated, charged, and sentenced, then we're going to continue to have a problem. The other question, someone asked me, well, how did I feel about what the chief's saying about the alleged shooter in Dallas? You know, <laughs> this is, um, this is weird because they said they found so much evidence. They found where he scribbled in the wall with blood, some initials, RB, and then they said that in his home, they found all of this bomb making material. But yet, we have seen none of that. There has been no photos, no video coverage, none of that. So it's not as though this evidence is going to convict him because he's already been killed. So why are they not showing us this, but yet talking about it with strength as if it's really there? So it's, it's, so I, I you know, I, again, I hate that that had to happen. I really do. It's a sad and unfortunate situation. But, um, you know, the police department here, they haven't even come forth to apologize to that gentleman, uh, Mark Hughes, for falsely accusing him. I mean, they had his photo up. 16 hours after they had already said to release him or whatever, and they still have yet to come publicly and apologize. And according to his brother, Corey, they said they're not going to. How is that fair? This man, his family is receiving death threats from radical people probably who do not believe that he was not involved. So how is it as a police department 
if you want to keep the peace where there's right now a war brewing, why not come forward and take ownership of your shit and say, you know what? I fucked up. It is what it is. I fucked up. We made a mistake, but here's how we're going to correct it. It's not him. We apologize to this man and move on. Why not do that? I don't really get that. But, um, so, again, police officers are going to have to be held accountable. I think, and I say this from my own experiences when I was out there ratchet, <laughs> SAO, until I was held accountable in a forceful consequence. Because, as we know, other consequences that did not work. You know, the more I got away with, the more I thought I could get away with. But when that final consequence hit, and the reality of that was so stern and so harsh, that is when the, you know, the mindset kicked in. And of course, with the help of a stranger, how I identified who was manipulating me through all, all my drama. But that was the reality that broke me. So we're going to have to have these officers held accountable. Um, we, we have, you know, you're going to always have hate, bigotry, racism is taught. That's taught. That's not a, a born behavior. That's a learned behavior. So we're always going to have that. However, how we respond to it is key. And if we continue to let these people get away with stuff, we're going to continue to have bigger problems. China just, uh, the, uh, I guess the large, the big position, the president of China just made a statement. How can we have unity with China when we can't even get our stuff together over here with our racism? And he was absolutely right. Absolutely right. We have the attorneys down for the um, psycho shooter in South Carolina appealing to the court to drop all the charges. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Drop all the charges because privilege. I guess they figure everybody else getting away with stuff. Why can't he get away with it too? So if we don't hold these people accountable, we're going to continue to have problems. And the problems are going to continue to escalate because you're going to have people popping off. People are tired. I'm going to be honest with you. African-American, Latino people are tired. You have Donald Trump out here running rampant with all of his racism comments, and people are tired. So if it's not something drastically done to show these, to show us as a, a African American race, as a Latino race, to show us that you are serious about all lives matter, then we're going to have this issue, and it's going to get so much worse. But um, so I hope that I answered the question for the guy who didn't want to um, come on the post yesterday, but. Yeah, the cops, the officers are going to have to be held accountable because if not, you don't know who else is out there right now planning to do something like this. You you just don't know. Um, according to this guy's parents, this totally surprised him. He would, you know, people that know him, this totally surprised him. So the idea of other people doing this, you don't know who's ready to go next. And unfortunately, lives are being taken because of it. So the police officers and the chiefs and the commissioners and the mayors, they all have the power to do stuff like this. But then that racist, oh God, let me say this right quickly. That McCrory in North Carolina, my God, he is such a tool. He just did an interview or a statement or something where he said that he signed a bill that all cameras, dash cameras and police cameras, the results of those cameras and the footage is to remain private. What are you hiding, McCrory? Seriously, if your officers are doing what they're supposed to do and they're following protocol, why wouldn't you want that footage shown to support them doing what they're doing, if it's right? Why would you want that hidden? So this is, a, this is the type of racism that we have, and this is the type of racism that we're going to continue to have as long as the people in the positions of power are not doing anything about it. I'm sorry if anybody's offended about this, but it is what it is. I'm sick and tired of the foolishness. Like I said, I experience this daily, and it's not cool. So nothing, fortunately for me, has been as harsh as it is about, you know, the things that are happening with other people. However... When you have lawmakers and people who have the power to make the decisions for change, if they're not having change and creating the change, it's not going to happen. So if they're supporting what these officers are doing, when they know they are dead wrong, if they're supporting that, then what are you going to do? Just like in Baton Rouge, the gentleman that shared the video of the um, 
the Mr. Sterling killing, they trumped up some assault charges and arrested him because he had a really he has a really great job, knowing that if he had an assault charge, that he would get fired. They get him to the police. They arrest him at work. Get him to the police station. What did they have on him? Some unpaid parking tickets. See, they're harassing you. They're harassing us, and they're doing that type of thing because they figure, okay, we're wrong, but we need to get the attention off of us, so we need to do something to get it onto them to show that it's not us. So don't fall prey to that. You know, please don't fall prey to that. Be smart, think wise, and you know, just protect yourselves. But these cops right here, they're, they're out of control. They are completely out of control. And um, I was just talking to a friend of mine about this, prep, this Pat McCrory thing, and I said I wouldn't come back to North Carolina or Virginia. I'll have to. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'll be in a box for me to come back there. That's just where I am in this life right now because the things that they do as lawmakers, it doesn't make any sense. It's not for all citizens. It's for these citizens. It's not for all. You know, so like I said, just be careful. And I hope I, you know, answered the question. I hope I was effective with my answer. Like I said, I'm not, this is not to offend anybody, but this is how I feel because as an African American, as an American, we are all fed up. We're tired and we want justice. And if you think about it, when you look at the Black Lives Matter protesters, it's a lot of Caucasians out there because they're fed up too. Because those are the ones that know what it's like to have that compassion for human life. They don't see race, they see things like we do, they don't see race. Although they don't experience the things we do, do, we do, but they want to get in the march with us. And that I can appreciate, unlike other folk. So, you know, we have to figure out how we can get these lawmakers to convict these people, to hold them accountable for their behavior, unlike that Zimmerman, that Zimmerman character who continues to be, you know, the person he is. And then we got that dumbass Sarah Palin. She just did an interview with Fox News. And this chick had the audacity to say, we should be thankful because the basketball players get paid billions and billions of dollars to run up and down and around on a wooden floor. <laughs> when the white basketball players are not offered the same amount of money. You know... <laughs> <laughs> if she took some of that energy and focused it on her daughter having those illegitimate children, then she might be in a better position to speak on things. Until then, Sarah, as Roland Martin told Winnie, shut the hell up. Just shut the hell up. Seriously, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. And then that dumb Stacey Dash. Take a picture in front of the White House. Donald Trump, We got. if you have any squatters in here, we're moving in. If you have any squatters, I can come get them Brooklyn style. Really? Sweetie, you probably don't even grocery shop for yourself because you figure you have so many enemies out there that you're ready to snatch you ball because of the foolishness and the stupid things that you say. And you really talking about something you got somebody's back Brooklyn style? Donald Trump is not even going to let you be his maid. You're not that light, sweetie. You're not even going to be his maid. Seriously. Move on with your ignorant self. Ignorance is just stupid to me. I hate it. But anyway, I'm going to get off that because I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm not going to... Um, not gonna be able to keep going on this. Mika, what's up, babe? I was just talking about your your governor down there signing this bill, passing this bill to keep the camera and the footage hidden. I pray for y'all down in North Carolina. I really do, because you all got a mess on your hands. But anyway, until the officers are held accountable and not just held accountable, given a spank on the hand. Like honestly, that Michigan judge, that that video circulating where she uh, gave him this long closing, which was effective, you know, in her delivery, and I could see that she was angry, but I don't think his sentence was harsh enough. No less than thirteen months, no more than ten years. They beat the snot out of that man. That man was suffering, and what they and then the way they added insult to injury was they taunted him by fist bumping each other and celebrating while wiping their clothes off. That man should have got a minimum of 15 years in prison. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because when you think about someone to go to the extremes that he did, that wasn't a first time. That's not something that happened by coincidence or accident. That's something that, you know, either he's done before and gotten away with or something that he's really trained well to do. So, um, yeah, we got the police officer going to have to be held accountable. And unfortunately, we as citizens are not able to do that. But that's why we have to get out and vote. 
make sure you do whatever you can to get the right politicians in the right offices in your cities so that we can try to make a change to this because um, it's not over. This is far from over. And if you know anything about history, this is far from over. And, and people are angry. They are not, people are not happy. And they are very angry and rightfully so. So, again, peace out.